Okay, this is just a little video to show you um, some of the main components of our course. Our course home opens up. This is what we see. We have the typical stuff you're going to see in any online course, of, uh, the course content, communication, and assessment. Uh, there will be announcements here if anything pops up. And one thing that will be new to maybe many of you is the Pearson widget, as it's called. And <clears throat> You are going to use this widget, so if I click on this, by the way, this is what you will do when you first buy your textbook. You'll click on this, and somewhere on this page, it will give you some information as to, or some link into getting into the Pearson website. Right now, mine is not showing very much, but I think that's probably because the course is not active right at the moment, and it won't be till next week because I'm recording this now on the 29th of, of August. Anyway, I'm going to get out of that, close that tab. Um, once you're signed into Pearson, the self-tests and your term tests are going to be located in this widget. And also, when you click on this, you will also get access to your e-textbook. All right, when we look at the content of our course, let's have a look at that tab. So down the side, we've got um, some of the major categories. And under course information, if I click on this one, there are there's a raft of information here before you even get the course started. And I would suggest you go through all of these. So there's a blurb about me, and there's a blurb here about the course itself. Um, there's a blurb here on startup instructions. So as it says here, you need to have the textbook, which can be gotten through the university bookstore for $117. And you also need to have purchased a, um, a license from, uh, for Minitab 17. And the link is here. And as this little blurb here says, uh, it's roughly $30 US for a six month subscription. Okay, going back, um, I did post here some information I got from Pearson. And this is some information about how you're going to register for my, excuse me, my stat lab as it's called. Okay, so there's that. And hopefully everybody will be able to get on the Pearson website without too much trouble. There's a timeline for how the course is going to flow the due dates for assignments, the dates that are set now for the term tests, how our course is going to be evaluated, uh, what are the resources for this course, and if I click on this, basically it tells you that there are data files in here, there's a list of videos, there's a list of statistical uh, tables, in addition to, of course, our course notes and that sort of thing. And the other thing that's in here, what do we got? Housekeeping issues. So I'm suggesting that you print PDFs, the pr PDF files of the notes. Um, this is a good idea to have the notes at your fingertips on paper. And these PDFs, I've created them so that it will print with two slides per page, which is a lot better than printing it from the PowerPoint slides. All right, your assignments um, are to be submitted as Word files. They're going to get submitted to the Dropbox, which we will see shortly. I've created a number of discussion folders, so if people have questions as we go along, it's best if they get posted to the uh, discussion board. That way everybody gets to see what your what the question is, and if I respond, everybody gets to see what my answer is going to be. And the last little thing under um, our course information, there's a video here which takes you through working through a self-test from the Pearson website. And you can have a look at that once you get access to the Pearson website. All right, going back to my table of contents, as I've said, our notes are up here as PDFs, so they're all there for each chapter. Then our notes are also listed here in their PowerPoint form. Um, within the PowerPoints, I've embedded a number of videos. Now, they worked on my machine. Uh, when I download the PowerPoint and then I run the PowerPoint as a, as a slideshow, uh, when I 
get to a slide that has an embedded video, there the, the video launches. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen for you or not. I hope it does. Uh, unfortunately, right now, if I click on any one of these and open the PowerPoint within D2L, right now, the videos are not launching through D2L. Some of the DELT people are having a look at that. I don't know if we're going to be able to resolve that. But that's not an insurmountable problem because under the Resources tab, there is a section here which includes all the videos that I have generated so far for this course. They are all listed alphabetical. You can load more here, so more will show up, and I'm probably going to have more uh, <clears throat> posted here as the course goes on. All right, so the videos are all here, and these are all, they all link out to YouTube, so there should not be an issue with any of these. Uh, under the Data File tab, uh, you've got two sets of data files. One is the data set that came from the textbook. And that's the one that's showing right here. And the files are all listed according to chapter. And then there's also the data sets that I used in the notes and data files that are required for your assignment. So they're listed here. And again, they're all listed alphabetical. Also here, we've got some statistical tables. These will be in your uh, textbook, of course, but it's nice to have them here. Uh, okay, so that's the basic course content. Then, of course, under the communication tab, we've got our class list. Discussion board is, uh, there's a number of discussion boards set up here under this tab, and our course ma uh, mail. And then under the assignments, there is a Dropbox here. And right now, there is a Dropbox that's set up for each of the assignments. The first assignment is showing. This assignment, by the way, is due on September 17th. So you should uh, quickly get started on, on these. I would suggest you go through self-test number one and two, which you're going to access through the Pearson website, and then do your assignment. And that's going to get dropped here, and I will grade it. All of the self-tests that you are required to do in this course are going to be graded through the Pearson website. There's also a Dropbox here for the final exam. Right now, I'm still not entirely sure about what our final exam is going to look like, so we may or may not be using that Dropbox, but we'll see how that goes as the course goes on. Uh, and other than that, you've got a feature here for your grades, and you can go in and you can have a look at whatever grades you've got. So I think that's pretty well it. Um, if I go to the course home, there is the announcement tab here, of course. If anything comes up, I'll put announcements here. And over here on the right-hand side, I can see all the due dates for my assignments and my self-quizzes or self-tests, whatever term you want to use refer to the same thing and then our term tests so that pretty well is it in a nutshell